Welcome back everybody. This episode, we're porting inlet manifolds. Let's get into it. Well, before we uh, get started on our porting, first of all, we need to check over your manifold piece that needs to be worked on uh, for any damages, um, any repairs that may need to have happened to it, you know, bug it up threads, uh, coolant passages that maybe, you know, like they've, cor they've corroded that far that they either need uh, new ones welding on or just cut off altogether and the holes welded up, whatever it may be. The next thing I guess we're going to look for is, uh, let's see, we can try and pinpoint some of the restriction in the manifold. Probably the most obvious restriction on the whole manifold would be these 90 degree bends on the outer on the outer runners. The next one, it might not be so obvious, but if you, and most manifolds will most likely have it, if you run your finger down into the carb flange, especially on this one where the outer runners feel this really sharp edge. It's a pretty, uh, pretty thick bit of casting there, real sharp. That could be rounded off to a nice free-flowing, sort of like a wing, sort of, you know, really nice and rounded. So now we've identified some of the restrictions just by having a quick look at it. We can go one step further. We can start mapping out our, uh, our runners, our ports, just a little set of calipers. And just at each increment, Take a measurement, of course this will be on the inside, it's just easier for me to show you on camera this way. And then what we want to do is just get it up to the ruler. So okay, that's five centimeters or 50 millimeters. Drop that down on paper. Wherever it may be. Then we'll take another reading a little bit further up. And it's the same deal pretty much for all the ports. Now this this one's showing about 42 mil. Now you can also um, you know draw a uh, a little diagram for yourself and just at each increment you can just you know that's going to give you a fairly good idea of where to start grinding so we're not going to bother with up here where it's its most widest we're going to start down here where the choke point is and then we'll slowly work our way up and just blend it into the wider part also too we're going to be concentrating as well on the outer radii on both the outer runners because you're going to find a lot of flow wants to go around it's the easiest easiest path to flow for the air and fuel around the outside this little 90 degree section here you'll find you'll have little uh, little uh, like little tornadoes or little you know it just wants to sit there and swirl and carry on and all the rest of it vortices and essentially what that does is it necks the port down again so you've got another smaller space so what we want to try and do is is knock the edge off of it and try and focus on this you know, section we're not going to touch the center runner now inherent and because inherently being an inline six cylinder and a single carby for that matter number three and number four cylinder always run richer than the outers so we're we, we're going to leave all the little restrictions and sharp edges and all that sort of stuff alone and concentrate on the outer on the outer runners okay some of the tools we'll be using for the job electric die grinder pretty aggressive aluminium uh, burr 
finish off the ports with um, a different array of uh, different grit cartridge rolls. Um, a gasket we're going to use as a template in conjunction with getting some measurements off the cylinder head for port location. You know, just rule a couple of rulers, some a sharpie, a whiteout pen, a uh, bit of personal protection, you know, eye and ear, a uh, bit of lung. Don't want to be breathing in that crap. One quick uh, word of warning: if you're going to do it with an electric drill, just be wary. Most electric drills, they don't really like the side loading of the bearings in them. After a while, they start to get a bit gravelly and a bit noisy. Um, otherwise, yeah, you can use uh, an air die grinder or even a little Dremel. So this is the the edge that I was talking about, the bottom part of the carburetor flange that goes into the outer inlet runners. This is where we're going to start. And we'll also, while we're there, we'll take some material out of the plenum area, smooth it and enlarge it just a little bit for better breathing. cartridge roll this one's a used one but that doesn't matter what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and we're going to blend and smooth out everything as you saw earlier the 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 burr it's pretty aggressive so let's get into it Most of that edge broken on the bottom side of the carburetor flange there's still a little bit of a sharp edge there so we're just going to use a few strips of wet and dry coarse sandpaper whatever you want to call it once we've broken that edge some more we'll have a quick inspection of it and uh, see where we can fix up a few little bits and pieces if needed and we'll call it good we'll move on to the next stage do you think now's the perfect time to make some jokes about sticking fingers in holes? All jokes aside guys, if you're liking what you see, give us a like and a subscribe and a, uh, you know, put some comments down below. You know? That'd be really great. I'd love this channel to grow into a uh, an online community where like-minded people can get together and help each other out. And it can't get there without you, the viewer, without your help with the likes and subscribes and the comments and all that sort of thing. So, hey, it's free. What are you waiting for? So we're going to leave the modification here, i.e. the plenum finished on this little manifold. Next video will be the marking out, um, measuring all the rest of it ready for the port matching. We'll also dive a little bit deeper, try and open this restriction up here and get, get these radii a bit more free-flowing 
most likely this is going to be a three to four part three to four part video series and I think what's going to be probably the the cool little bit for for this is we've got a little DIY homemade flow bench so we're going to chuck it on our little flow bench we're going to do a comparison test of this one which being the modified and a standard inlet manifold as well as we're also going to do a quick little volume test to see how much internal volume we've gained with our porting as well. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you got something out of that. What are you waiting for? Go get your hands dirty. We'll see you next video.